Hello, this is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. MSS, Melting Siding Syndrome, which is generally your adjacent neighbor's south-facing window reflecting the summer sun to your north-facing vinyl siding, causing the vinyl to distort, wrinkle, and melt. This is becoming a common problem in all parts of America and Canada. In one of my old YouTube videos, which you can still view, I put most of this blame on the vinyl siding manufacturers and not the window manufacturers. Since that video, I received many emails from people with the same melting or distortion vinyl siding problems. In one Florida home, an engineer stated that one home actually caught fire. This melting, distortion, or wrinkling problem is usually caused by the southern facing window during the summer months. When the sun's azimuth is at its highest, the sun's rays are also at their hottest. These sun rays hit and reflect commonly from low e-glass windows and low e-glass tinted or coated windows. As a rambunctious child, I remember using a magnifying glass to fry and burn grasshoppers, ants, and other insects. This is no different. The window is the magnifying glass and the siding is the insect. If you look at the photos, you can see how the reflection moves down the siding and intensifying as the reflections get smaller and smaller and hotter and hotter until they finally melt the new or even 30 year old siding. E glass stands for energy efficient glass with a low E coating. There are different types of low E glass. In the winter time the low E glass coating is placed on the interior side of the window to reflect radiant energy back into the room thus preventing heat loss to the outdoors. In the summertime or in hot climate areas where excessive sunlight can cause overheating of the living space, windows are built with the low E coating on the exterior surface of the glass to reflect radiant energy from the sun back towards the outdoors. Thus, windows can be specifically tailored to different climates and even different sides of the same home. Now that's scary. We already live in a society where builders screw up simple things. Now we are going to ask builders to place low E exterior coated windows on the south side of the home and low E interior coated windows on the northeast and west sides of the home. And the builder better make sure that the larger windows are that are within 18 inches of the floor also be tempered safety glass. Let's complicate this even more. If you live in cold weather climates, the e-glass should also be high solar gain glass. In warm climate zones, the e-glass should also be low solar gain glass. And finally, we still need to look at the u-factor, which is the inverse of the r-value, the vt visible transmittance of light factor, the solar heat gain factor, and lastly, the al air leakage factor. Never mind the late night TV info commercial window idiot that will install any window anywhere for $199. This is starting to sound like Windows Engineering 101. If you are unemployed and are looking for a new exciting occupation that does not exist yet, become a forensic window consultant. You may be in demand very soon. With high energy costs, it makes sense to use high efficient windows or replace old windows that can also be contaminated with lead paint. If the windows you install reflects light that is hot enough to cook a hot dog or melt your neighbor's siding, you are certainly responsible. The neighbor's siding was fine until your window melted it. It's your home, your window, and your reflected light. You are the one who installed a residential vinyl siding melting magnifying glass. Sometimes a window screen or an awning helps stop the sun from hitting the window in the first place. A tall fence, garden structure, tall bushes, trees can also be an alternative to stop this type of reflection. If you refuse to stop this reflection problem, your neighbor may sue you for light radiant heat wave encroachment or trespassing. All your neighbor really has to do is throw a couple rocks at your window when you're not home and the problem is fixed. For all you rock throwing neighbors, I recommend using homemade ice balls. This way the evidence in your fingerprints disappear. Please email all your reflection photos 
and put your name on them. It is possible that someday an attorney will call me to help in a class action suit. Thank you. This is Marco Voke at www.houseinvestigations.com. Please visit my website for more good house information.